Tesla delivered almost 423,000 vehicles in the first quarter of 2023. That's 10,000 vehicles less from my own estimates, but sheesh, that's pretty darn awesome. They also produced over 440,000 vehicles in the quarter as well, even though that's only 1,000 vehicles more than the previous quarter, but that's because of Model 3 being shut down for two weeks. But if it wasn't, it would have easily been almost reaching the 470,000 production levels, which is a sheesh moment right there. Now, the the question is, are they going to beat expectations in the Q1 earnings? That's what we're going to predict today in this video and see what the stock price would be. So if you guys are ready, man, smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already, man. Let's go. So here is a Tesla stock price prediction chart on the quarterly basis. If you guys have been watching my video for some time, you guys already know this chart. But if it's your first time watching, we're going to quickly go over so you're up to speed. The first row here is vehicle deliveries. Obviously, that doesn't need any explaining. It's vehicles being delivered. The second row is dedicated to FSD alone. As you guys can see, the one-time payment is 15000 for every single quarter. Now, most likely end of this quarter, sorry, end of this year, which is Q4, they're probably going to increase it to 17,000 depending on how supply and demand is. But knowing Tesla, they're probably going to increase that a little bit. But who knows? Let's see what's going to happen. Let's focus on this quarter for now. We'll get to the other quarters as we go forward into this video. I put a conversion rate of 15%, meaning that those who buy Tesla, 15% of them will opt in for the one-time fee for FSD. Now, we don't have the subscription fee at the moment, the subscription revenue and profits. I did make an estimate of that in this video here. You can check it out. We're just going to keep it simple and go with the one-time fee. The FSD profit margin for the whole four quarters, I left it at 45% because that's what FSD pretty much is. It's just almost pure profit for Tesla. Then we get the average selling price for each vehicle for 2023 in Q1. I left it at 50,000. In Q2, 49,000. Q3, back to 50,000. And Q4, 51,000. And that's because of the Cybertruck, which is going to come out. It's going to be pretty expensive, upwards of 55,000 per vehicle, huge moment right there. So that's gonna bring up the average. Then we get the credits, 400 million in the first quarter, 350, 300, and 250. Then we get the operating margins per each vehicle and the profits here, which we'll get to that in a bit. Then we got the energy here. Yes, I am adding energy here because it is becoming a factor into the stock price because they're actually making money. If we look in 2022, almost 4 billion in total revenue for energy and almost 300 million in profits, which is absolutely insane. As you guys can see here, I'm increasing it. I'm predicting that in Q1, they're gonna do about 1.5 billion in revenue. In Q4 of 2022, they did 1.3 billion. So I'm just saying they're gonna increase it by 200 million and so on and so forth until end of Q4 to 2.2 billion and keeping the profits at a 12% rate for the entire four quarters. And as you guys see, that's what you get here. I'm also adding here the FX currency expense, 350, 350, 375, and 375 because there is going to be an FX currency expense because, you know, going from the yuan to the US dollar, it's pretty darn expensive. Then we go to the last three quarters, which will add this current quarter, which will give us a whole fiscal year, which we can give it an appropriate PE to get the right stock price, what could be in the quarters. Now, I do also want to mention the shares of standing is being diluted by 1% every single year. Well, 4% every year, 1% every single quarter. So, 1% every single quarter. Now let's go ahead and add the 423,000 vehicles to Q1 and let's see what we get. If you guys are ready, man, smash that like button. Come on. So it was about 422,875 vehicles deliveries. Insane. And bam, look at all that numbers come in. I just love it. Total vehicle revenue over $21 billion. 14% operating margin, we get about almost $3 billion in just the vehicles alone. And if you add the FSD revenue with the energy revenue, as well as the, their profits as well, we get a total revenue for Q1 2023 for Tesla, almost reaching $24 billion and the net income being $3.6 billion. And that is a sheesh moment right there. And as we can see here, the quarterly EPS will be a dollar and thirteen, which the street is saying eighty-five cents, which I don't understand where they're getting this eighty-five cents from. I mean, let's reduce the OP margin to ten percent. Maybe that's what it is. Oh, eighty-seven percent. Okay, let's go nine point eight percent, eighty-six cents, eight point seven percent. So you're telling me they're gonna do eight nine point seven percent in operating margins for the vehicles? No, it's just not possible. It's just yes, they are cutting down prices but the prices are still not as low as they were two years ago. 
So the profit margin is going to be a whole lot higher than 9.7%, hence I put 14%. Now, yes, in Q2, I put 13.5% because they just announced more cuts and they'll probably continue announcing more cuts as we go forward. But still, in Q1 2023, 14%, I think that's reasonable. Comment down below. Maybe I'm missing something. I don't know what I'm missing. Comment down below. Let me know. But that's pretty sheesh moment. $3.6 billion in Q1 with all this noise. I wonder what's gonna if that if this number actually becomes true obviously it's a prediction not facts just all predicting but if this number comes true or even close to it then i don't know what the fake news or what the negative press is gonna say about tesla i mean this is impressive numbers during a time where they're cutting prices and we're in a very weird economy we're in a recession we're not in a recession i really don't know this is a weird economy to be in but yet they're still crushing it Shish moment right there. Now that's Q1. Let's move on to Q2. In Q2, I'm going to keep it very conservative. I'm going to say they're going to deliver 444,000 vehicles. With that, with the 13% margins, we get a total revenue for that quarter, almost reaching 25 billion and actually slightly less in net income of going below $3.6 billion. And that's because of the reduced OP margins. Nonetheless, that's an EPS of $1.12 and a total EPS if you take the past three quarters and this quarter's of four dollars and forty cents sheesh moment right there moving on to q3 i'm gonna say 465,000. i think we're gonna be closer to 480,000. but let's say 465,000. keeping things conservative we get a total revenue of over 26.5 billion dollars and net income over 3.8 billion which is a sheesh moment right there again and we get an eps quarter of a dollar and 17 not bad total eps three quarters including this four dollars and 52 cents not bad now moving on to q4 i'm gonna say a whopping 490,000. i do think that end of this year they can do almost 500,000. but let's just say 490 just to be conservative and safe and we get about almost 28.6 billion dollars and net income over 4.5 billion dollars sheesh moment right there an eps of a dollar and 26 and an EPS of $4.62, which is, again, not the greatest year for Tesla because we're going from $4.07 to $4.62. That's like about a 16, 18% growth in just earnings. But if we look at the year-over-year -year growth in terms of the vehicle, it's about 39% if they do this. Now, my prediction, I think they're going to do more about 1.8.5 million vehicle deliveries. You guys can check out the video here how I came up with that number. But nonetheless, for a year like this, this is not bad. Now, let's see how this Will reflect the stock price. If you guys are ready, man, smash that like button because this is about to get juicy. Let's go. So right now the stock price is between 180 to 190 bucks per share. It could go lower this week because of all the price cut news coming out, panic, flooding the market, fear, all that goodies. Good opportunity to buy, in my opinion. But anywho, could go lower. But right now the PE is between 50 to 55. Let's give Q1 a 50 PE as like the base, right? See what we get. 50 PE, we get a stock price of 201 bucks per share. Now, obviously, if it comes out missing the EPS estimate of 85 cents, which would be ridiculous. I mean, right. Right now it's a dollar 13 but if they do miss it we can probably see the pe going down as low as 45 maybe 40 of 161 bucks per share i mean if it gets really bearish at 30 pe a dollar and 20 121 bucks per share i mean if you want to go back to the 101 lows is what everyone is talking about 25 pe I mean, could you imagine 20 giving tesla 25 pe that's just ridiculous but if you do a dollar and 13 and surprises the market we can probably see the pe going back to maybe 55 in this environment maximum 60. i don't think we can go you can see it go up to higher than 60 in this market environment at the moment because we are still in a bear market nonetheless 50 PE, 55 PE to 60 PE is, you know, the ranges that I think that could possibly happen. But could go lower as we just mentioned, as we just saw here. I'm just going to leave it at 50 PE just to stay conservative. Moving on to Q2. Now Q2 is slightly less than Q1. And we can probably see some sort of negative news coming that, oh, look, Tesla didn't beat their previous earnings, their previous Q1, and it's going to go down from here. And, the, you know, the fear might flood the stock and it could go down to 45, maybe a 40. But look at that. The PE, if we go back to Q1, a 40 PE around there was 161, but in Q2 was 176. So not bad, you know, it's, it's improving. The stock is getting stronger fundamentally. I mean, the company is fundamentally strong, but the stock isn't at the moment. 
but these numbers will help it make it stronger. But nonetheless, I'm going to leave it at a 50 PE for Q2 as a base, as an average, you could say. Moving on to Q3, I'm also going to give it a PE of 50 and we get a stock price in the average of 226 bucks per share. Now, that would be a record for Tesla in that year. We could probably see the PE going from 50 to 55. We're going to get bullish here at 60 PE, 271. If you want to get bearish, 40 PE, 45 around there but again average of 50 pe of 226 bucks per share and market cap 736 billion dollars which is not bad and last but not least in q4 now obviously q4 when it comes out the earnings comes out it's between january 21st of 2024 to april 20th to 2024 so literally, literally a year from now and if you ask me I really think that a year from now, we are going to be in a bull market. We can probably see a 60 PE for Tesla in Q4 or January 21st, 2024 to April 20th, 2024, which would give the stock price of 277 bucks per share. We can also give it a PE of 50 just to stay, you know, safe, you can say. 231 bucks per share and I really don't think going below this makes any sense. I mean, if you want to give it a 40 PE for whatever reason, you're still below the 200 bucks per share and I don't believe that by end of this year or end of this fiscal year we're going to be seeing that again going a year from now and things can happen in a year so what I'm saying the realistic price ranges that could be between January 21st to April 20th is 231 bucks per share or 277 bucks per share my personal price target end of this year or by then is 260 per share let's see if that'll happen or not but it's all a prediction and a prediction alone more research is always needed and always take these videos with a grain of salt. Now, what am I doing in these cases? What am I doing in these situations? Stock price of Tesla is below 200 again. And as I mentioned to you guys, if the stock price is below 200, I'm buying more, going more all in. If it goes above 200, I'm going to take my time buying. If it goes over 300, I'm going to stop buying completely because I have way too many shares and I need to save up for a property. So I don't have everything in one basket alone, but nonetheless, in my opinion, it's a buying opportunity. It could go lower this week, next week. I don't really know what's going to happen this year, next year. But I do know that in 5, 10 years from now, we're going to look back and go like, wow, can't believe Tesla stock was below the 1 trillion mark. And I wish I bought more. But again, I could be wrong. The stock could go back to 50, 40 bucks. It could just not grow. But knowing Elon and knowing the Tesla team, we know that's not going to happen. We know their mission is to accelerate the world's energy to sustainable energy. And they're going to do anything and everything they can. For crying out loud, guys, they're going to do Gigafactory Mexico for the new compact car, which is going to take them to the next level. And once that's done, they're going to do other factories similar to that in other parts of the world, which eventually going to be the most vehicles deliveries in the world. Tesla beating Toyota. I mean, that's a huge moment right there. But that's just my belief. You know, if you don't have a 10 year horizon for Tesla and, and you need the money in the next year or two, maybe investing in Tesla ain't the best thing because it's very volatile and it could swing back and forth like a flippin' elephant trunk, man. That's why you should always do your DD and take all these videos with a grain of salt. But you know what is very salty? I am in Kuwait right now and there's no Teslas in Kuwait. And it's really bugging me and it's triggering me. And well, I did a documentary on it and you guys can check it out here. It took me hours and days to film it and edit. So I would really appreciate if you guys could check out the video and, you know, leave a like. It would mean a lot to me. Now, you guys can support me by becoming a channel member or getting some merch or just by simply subscribing. And I shall see you guys in the next video. See ya.